If you can see that button on your device right now, go ahead and click it. Ding dong that notification bell. And then that way you will be notified every time I post a new video here on this channel. Because hello, my name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life and put it on the internet for your faces. Now, before I fall through this glass floor, we have to thank the clothes fairy for delivering me fresh, clean clothes. But more so, take a step back into my bedroom and talk about how I say every single day when you wake up, you should get up, get motivated and make your bed. Because how are you supposed to take over the world if you can't even make your own bed? Well, it turns out I was onto something because as per this study here, you are 206% more likely to become a millionaire if when you wake up in the morning, you make your bed. Not quite taking over the world, but a couple of million for being motivated. Don't mind if I do. Anywho, it's Friday the 13th. And the crazy thing about that is it's unlucky for some, but for me, it could potentially be the day that my baby arrives. I'd like to say we're totally organised and everything's together. But don't worry about it. It'll be fine. We'll organise it later. But something I should probably organise right now is the baby seat for the car. Because even though you guys know we want to try and do a home birth, if that ends up not being the case and we have to rush to the hospital and Lydia gives birth there, they will not let you leave with your child without a car seat. So, might need to get on top of that one. And speaking of getting on top of things, it is currently nearly 20 past 12 and I've not even had my breakfast. So I'll take a cup of tea and some crave. And instead of sitting down at the table where I usually work on my laptop, we're gonna go downstairs. Which I feel like I've never said in such an excited way before. Other than to see Kevin. Hello, my friend. But the reason why I'm so excited is because my battle station is up and running. This is honestly so sick. I love it to pieces. It's a thing, I just thought at one o'clock in the morning last night, like, oh yeah, I might just build my, uh, my setup back together. And I ended up finishing with this. What the heck? It just doesn't get any better than this. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And by the way, you know how I always talk about breakfast being like the most important meal of the day? Well, I know everyone's like, scientifically, no, Tom, it's stupid. You shouldn't even have it. Listen to this voice note. I quite literally just got off my dad. What's the first thing you do before you go out in the car on a journey? To lick the fuel. What's the first thing you do in the morning when you get up in the morning? Before you start your day? Fill yourself with fuel. Breakfast! <laughs> Couldn't have said it any better myself, Dad. What a bloke! Now we're gonna have to stop the RuneScape and Brew morning session because I believe there's someone knock, knock, knocking on my door. Fee fi fo fum, who is knocking? At my door. Legrayem! Oh, ha, ha, it is back! <laughs> my bike is back! It has working chain, yes? The man of the hour, yes! The bike is back in the motherland. Which is the not so messy garage. However, um, Graham, enjoy your drink because there's someone at the door that I need to go and say hello to again. Oh, I forgot there was gas canisters coming. Yeah, come in, come in, come in. Sorry, to just give you guys a bit of setup and context, these are the guys from the NHS dropping off the birthing pool and the gas and air. So when Lydia's like, <laughs> I can just go, and I can enjoy it and just be high on life. I didn't realize we were gonna need that much. Ooh. And the pool has arrived. It is like typical blue, <laughs> seaside swimming pool blue. But it will do, because it's gonna go in the middle of that room. And hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, that's where our baby's gonna be born. <laughs> Graham, can you believe I'm gonna be a daddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> why, do you, why do you not sound confident to me? What's going on? Graham? Graham! Okay, and just like that, they're gone. They dropped off another bag to go along with the pool. And then this big piece of kit, a community midwife bag. Not a clue what is in any of that. But thank you, the NHS. I'm going to shut the door and um, stare at my nuclear bomb looking canisters. If Big Tasty was here, he would be getting high as a motherfucker. Now we're out at the front of the house because Graham has brought his van. And I heard there's free candy. In the form of a, do you say this is a 10 grand? A £10,000 electric bike, right. So my bike, you know, is electric powered, it's great, it's powerful, it gets you up the hills, amazing. How old's my bike? Five years? 2017. Wow, six year old bike. So technology from then has gone vroom. So what's so impressive about this bike? Changes gear on its own. Wireless, Wireless gear changing. Wireless dropper. What? Whoa! So basically, as humans, 
we like to just put batteries on everything. You know, like even the simple test of like putting a key in the door, people like to use fobs and electric systems. This bike, rather than using cables to change the gears, which has been like an age old thing, it is now done with wireless devices. What happens if your batteries run out whilst you're riding? It's tough. You can't change gears? It's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Have Minus I, have three. I have to sign a, a waiver? No, no, no. Okay. So you're in, it's set up in a low cadence, so if you press your seat post down very quickly. Push it down. Push oh, it down. Just, just oh, like does it again. even do it itself? Oh, no, it's not, not that bad. Yeah. So basically, don't touch the gears, even though you can override them. Those are your don't gears. Don't touch the gears. Just pedal. Would you like a helmet, sir? Sure. Safety and all that. Cheers, mate. Pedal. So yeah, even though I'm saying these wireless gears, this is a fully automatic electric bike. Yes. So as you as you pedal, it will change gears. As you slow down and stop pedaling, it will set the gear to your speed. It will coast shift. Bizarre. You know where we've got to test this? Where? Karamanjaro. Yes. Can you test that? Yes. So I shouldn't have to touch the gears? No. <laughs> Yo, that's actually sick. This is not an ad by any means for this bike. He was just like, I'm going to bring a new toy for you to try out. That is bizarre. Instead of just crunching on your gears, try to change it at the last minute or something like that, it just does it. It's amazing. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need one! But I want one. Everybody oh, Graham, that is so nice of you to give me a gift for my new child. Oh, it's just brilliant. Enjoy! Thank you, sir. <laughs> I have a new toy! It's not actually mine. I hate that, I like it. <laughs> Bastard. I knew you would. Do you know what would be good though? I'm saying this. There needs to be an actual, the seat dropper shouldn't be weight related. It should be electrical. Do you know what I mean? So I could just press that and it went down. Don't, maybe, don't say I'm maybe, lazy. Maybe, maybe that's the, what the cycling industry is doing next. <sighs> Wait, so how hard is it to go from the get go? Because I'm like in a random gear. Oh, no, please. That was so easy. That's mad that you don't have to touch anything. I love it. I'm going to have to go for a Tom POV here going up the hill. I, I'm, Trying to describe to you how this works because everyone's been talking to me like my biking circle about like, oh, wireless shifters. I'm like, shove them your ass. Look how I'm just riding now. I'm just calmly chilling. But if I put some power in, ready? It's just changed gears twice, three times, four times, right? And if I lean off the power now, it should, there you go. Look, it's just eased it off for me to make it the perfect ride. What? I hate to say it. But this is pretty revolutionary tech. Oh, I hate that I like it. No! Oh my gosh. Nuke proof. Who, who, who do I have to, who do I have to flirt with to get one of these? Oh! Hear me out, hear me out. Send, you've got contacts at Nuke proof, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Send him an email, right? Oh, Life of Toad, love it, love oh. it, love it, a new bike. I'll, I'll just send him the vlog. Yeah, yeah, send him the vlog, right? And then we can put the baby attachment on it to carry the baby, but then we wrap the Nuke Proof in like a Syndicate original sick wrap. Let's make a project. It could be a Syndicate <laughs> project, mate, honestly. I, I, I'm actually angry at you. I, I was I, I was hoping to be ripping that to pieces, saying it's absolutely terrible and that it's overrated. And why do we need to put batteries on everything? We put batteries on toothbrushes. We put it on lawnmowers. We put it in cars. We, we put it on gears. It's not needed. But it's so good. Are you ready for a solid statement? I used to say, what? Oh, it's got a green one as well. The most... This is my out there statement. One of the most revolutionary pieces of tech to ever happen to a bike, I think was the seat dropper. Cause remember back in the day, you had to lift it up, put it down, put it up, put it down. That may now be replaced by wireless gears. Maybe. Just saying. Maybe. Just saying. Yeah. And what are you doing at my house? I'm out yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> It'll fit. Regardless of anything, we get to go on a bike ride together and then together soon. Yeah, yeah. My child is due in 11 days, by the way. Ah, plenty of time. Yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Until, until he turns up, then. We're just bringing him with me. 
Who says you can't take a, a one day old child on a bike ride? <laughs> Duh. Rules, Who rules. writes the rules? We do. Rules We're no adults. Wild. This is what we do best. Goodbye now. Goodbye now, Graham. Wow. I, I am incredibly impressed. How cool is that? Just everything happening all at once. Bike being back. Technology teasing me. Baby equipment being delivered. And the baby mama is home. Hey, both the baby mamas. Hello. Hi. You okay? Yeah. It's real now. I love how Jenny just went, oh my God, did it get dropped off? Yeah, no, I just, just hold on to it. Four canisters of do, do the know, good I, stuff. Do you know, I just didn't even clock what it was. <laughs> to be fair, it's not an unsurprising thing to see in my house, which is quite a strange the statement. Job to, is to get that room clear. Yeah, I now need to empty this entire room to put the pool you're in it. You're making it into a zen den, aren't you? I can't wait to do it. I just need to work out where to get tarps from, like what? nice tarps. Mean, what do you say? I mean drapes, not tarps. If I asked for tarps, it would look like a painter's coming. But no, I want to get some drapes hung up in here so it looks really nice and feng shui. Where? Abercam, Manchester. We're going all the way to Manchester. Oh, you can choose drapes there. How much is it going to cost me? Oh, it's brilliant. It's such a brilliant job. I will pay £5. Pounds. That's up to you. It's apparently the price to pay for everything nowadays. Because of you, this is happening. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll get another one. <laughs> Jenny was like, oh, you've got so many jelly cats. And I was like, well, bitch, we got more. Get it opened. Oh. It's not a dupe. It's not a dupe? Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. What is it? It's oh. an owl. Oh. Oh. That's so cute. Go in the, it it's a new in one. The bag. <laughs> Where's the new? Hey, up. Who's it from? The survey says... Hello, Tom and Lydia. Congratulations on having Jelly Man. I've been a fan since my night season one. I want to give you a native bird of my home in Washington State, America. No way. Hope you all the best. Jose Rosalio or Rosalio. That's Jose, right? Thank you. So it's cute. so lovely. Look, I'm going to put him on the pile. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him up here because he's an owl. He takes the higher ground. Ooh. He's had a bit too much to drink. I didn't know you could do that. Wait, you can't whistle though. I can do that one though. I genuinely did not know in all our years of dating that you could do that. <laughs> but great, great practice, Jenny, great practice. Now I'm going to open one. Uh, spoiler alert, I think it's an elephant. It's a dragon. Oh my gosh, I actually thought that was a trunk of an elephant and I've just realized it's a point. I think it's a dragon as well. Wait. There's two. Oh. My God. oh. Oh, Is that's that nice. That is nice. Do we have a black one? Oh, yes. Oh, that's adorable. Do you know what this reminds me of? Is it Never Ending Story? The dragon. What's it called? Do you know what it reminds me? That reminds me of Toothless. That reminds me of Toothless, but that reminds me of uh, Never Ending Story. Do you know what that film is? No. Never Ending Story. Book on dragons. We've got a massive book on dragons. <laughs> Good, as I would expect. And I do believe this is from this person. And it says, hey guys, hope you are well. The smallest one is for we Arlo. Oh, sorry, we've stolen it. Well, we got excited about that one, which for Arlo, as it reminded me of my childhood. Uh, and the other two are for Jellyman. So enjoy the journey oh, from Saskia in Northern Ireland. And we got a Muku. I'm just trying to confirm here whether or not the person is actually called Saskia or Saskia is a place in Northern Ireland. Either way, whoever you are, thank you for the jelly cat. Hi, V. Hi. Wait, how do you not know what they are? We're having a party. What for? What? <laughs> it's for blowing up balloons. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. I put probably dent in the floor. Oh, my gosh. I did dent the floor, probably. No, it's the gas and air for Lydia for when she's giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pool she's gonna give birth in that bag. Yeah, so they, didn't you they didn't tell me nothing. The guy just went, here's your stuff. I've got another canister's ring out. Good luck. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Now, if you ever need a place to come and do some remote work, welcome to the command center. <laughs> wait, sit, wait, sit behind it, sit behind it. Oh, that's my desk from upstairs. Check this out, you ready? Wait for it to all turn on. Bim, 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 did. How cool is that? I wish I knew what any meant. <laughs> How sick is Holy that? Holy moly. Don't you feel like you're about to like... I like this as well. Don't really? you feel like you're about to launch a nuke or something? I... This is cool. <laughs> you know what? It suits you. This is really cool. I kind of want one, but I don't know how to do this. 
<laughs> it's nice to know that it's not just me that thinks this is the coolest thing in the world, but right, it's three o'clock, which is a bit closer to the evening dinner time, but it's dinner time. So we're hopping in the whip and we're going to a place where I had a sandwich from like two weeks ago. And honest to God, it's just, it's 10 out of 10. So I'm going to take you there now and show you where the place is so you can go. Because when I mean this food is good, I mean it's good. So here we are in Denton, where I've come to collect the food from Ornella's Kitchen. <sighs> oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do, I've got takeout to go. Which smells absolutely phenomenal, but we're taking it home and we're feeding the troops. Which, wow, they're going to be hungry. Because uh, it's kind of rush hour time and it took me uh, 30 plus minutes to get home. <laughs> Usually it takes about five. Oh dear. Yes, I have received two angry phone calls off a very hungry pregnant girlfriend. I think this is what they call in the business and the industry. Angry. If you never see me again from this point on, she killed me. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I only found out about this place recently. Look at her running away from me. Let me see what you got. And, <laughs> what? what is it? Ah! What's it called? It's lobster ravioli. Oh my gosh. All right, let's have a look at you. What's that? Yours looks way better than mine. What is it? Oh my gosh, look at my, my Dude, I highly recommend this place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay now, food? I literally was about to kill you. Mmm. <sighs> Sweet. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow, that is good. All this has to be done just to show it you in all its glory. Look at that. Oh my, I'm gonna need a bigger plate. This thing's getting cut in half. Half now. Oh my gosh, that's thick. Half later. Now that the females are fed, I can feed. And oh my gosh, look at all that parma ham. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Phenomenal. So I'm currently sat at my setup, and I have got to be honest, I have no idea what on earth is going on right now. The screens are freaking out, they're flipping back and forward. I'm trying to watch the, the freaking KSI Tommy Fury weighing, and things are just going mental. I restarted my computer. I'm going to see what happens after it boots up, but um, something was beeping at me quite a lot. So consider me confused and also worried. I've got a few updates on the PC to do, so I'm doing that to make sure it's not something along that lines. Uh, brought out a guest, ta-da, look who it is, he's been like giving. And I've brought him out to help us because we need to take these curtains from in here and put them up in here. So I am going to need some tools and some steps. And I'm really hoping this is gonna be a simple switch. But as we know from experience, it never is. Okay, so we have the steps. We've unscrewed this screw. And this should allow the switcheroo. Ooh. But it didn't. Obviously not. We now need an Allen key. Which, if I look at the size, <coughs> I've got the right one. Give it a spin. Dun, 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 dun. And off we go. Hey. So I simply now just take the cap off. Oh, yes. Rinse and repeat, and we're good. I've got a feeling he prefers you because he definitely didn't look that amazing when I had him. Oh my gosh. Go on, Kevin. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to put you back. Go on, in you go. I hope you enjoyed your adventure out. But you know what time it is. It's pub o'clock. And yes, these screens shouldn't look like this. However, I have got an update to do. So we're going to restart it and hope for the best. Short but sweet, Mr. Kenneth. Boom. Godspeed, my friend. Go to your family. I know. You dirty drunkard. Ten, ten days? <laughs> ten <laughs> days, Ken? No, no. Right, it'll be 17 days. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Well, I wasn't expecting that from my dad. Really short and sweet trip to the grapes. It's ice cold outside now. So I literally flew down there, said hello, said hello to the boys and bounced. And I have returned to the setup, which sounds like it's working. So I'm hoping the updates have um, fixed it into place. But right, man tasks activated. These curtains are getting switcherooed. So before and after. Wow, look at that. Yay! <laughs> Looks way so good. Happy. Well better. Oh my gosh. It really does change just, the feel, doesn't it? I just had the realisation that we had those curtains in that room. Obviously, we want to change the curtains eventually in there, definitely, but for, the, for in here, that's perfect. They're so nice. Such a good aesthetic. Oh, that's my aesthetic right there. Oh. 
shut down. And it's now time to replace the ones we removed. Because even though this place has got blinds, we now have a spare curtain. So we return the base plates, like so. Grab our pole holders and slide it in. Not once, not twice, but three times. On goes the pole. And now for the curtain. Thank you. I love this color. <laughs> She does not. But they're back on here. And they're back on there. And voila! Well done. We have curtains. Not really nice. matching to the room in the slightest because it's like brown, 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 grey. But we don't care. It's a guest room. So if you ever come and stay with us, be sure to ask us, why are your curtains grey? And I will say they were stolen for the nursery. Perfect. And the time has now come to collect my random items for my digital goods and to take them out of the random crisp bowl that they've been sat in for the last who knows how long. Whilst I've not had an office, I'm almost confident there's a more efficient way of carrying all this stuff. But down we go to their new home of the tiny desk. May you serve the vlog well. What did you just say? Oh, those wires look good. <laughs> Do not pick on me for my cable management, all right? When I'm sat here, I am just in the dream scenario, all right? Oh, I'm sitting almost chaotic. <laughs> look, at, look at all the wires everywhere. Yeah, not my proudest moment. But this sure as heck is simply Chinese. Get me fed. Oh, we got the goods. And dinner is served. Because it's movie night and I want to watch. Mission Impossible Reckoning Part 1 So goodbye outside world Be gone And hello Tom Cruise And oh my gosh This film is 2 hours and 44 minutes long But it's got a 96% On Rotten Tomatoes Yes <laughs> Excited Yeah look at how happy she is She's got all the food in the world And we've got a film to watch we love eating in bed, it's great! Okay, I'll be back with a film review and food review in three hours! She spilled it! 13 hours later. Yeah, this is now the next day. Mission Impossible, if I was to describe it as a film, I would say I wasn't expecting an action movie to be so funny. Like, honestly, there was points where I was laughing out loud it was that funny. But, overall, typical action movie, I'd give it a seven? Oh. But if it was purely just a comedy, 7.5, nearly an eight. Honestly, there was a part with a yellow car. How, how funny was that? How funny was the yellow car scene in Mission Impossible? <laughs> I, I was really wetting myself. So there's, there's my review. Action film seven, um, film comedy, 7.5, nearly an eight. But where are we going now? Hospital appointment. We're going to our, what should be our last hospital Second appointment. Last. last one's on the due date. Should be our second to last hospital appointment um, about the baby. So let's go. You have arrived at your destination. The Acorn Birthing Centre. I would sit next to Olivia, but um, I'm going to assume someone's water broke on that chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> yes, all good in the hood. Jelly van is the right size. You happy? Yeah, do you know At what? At first when she put the sound thing on and we couldn't hear him, I was like, <laughs> and then she found a little heartbeat and I was like, Phew. and then she got really on it and I was like, yeah. Really far down. Really That's far down. Can't, can't hear it very He's well. on the way. He's like, yippee, I'm coming. <laughs> You're like an aced ass student. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And the we had a trainee lady in there just then. No joke, she carried herself with such confidence. I was about to say like, what do what colour does your gown mean? I, th I thought it was a trainee one, but she carried herself with such confidence that I thought she might have been like some ultimate super high up lady, honestly. And then she was like, oh yeah, I'm still doing my training. I was like, you're going to smash it in your career. Now on this gorgeous day, we are home and back at the house and I have a task at hand. And it is called installing... The baby chair. Or the baby seat. Or the baby seat holder. What, what do you call it? It's an Isofix base. It's, an base. <laughs> it's weird. What are you doing with this? I'm just installing one. This is going in it. Oh! So this goes in first and then that goes on top of it. Yay! I'm trying to install the car seat <laughs> and Vic's just turned up with it's baby a bumpkin. Oh, a bumpkin. Oh, that's cute. 
hunting fake? Nah, I'm all for it. Okay, so this apparently goes in there first like that, locked in, cool. And then same with this one, locked in, cool. I then think we just push this into that. Who needs instructions? I've absolutely smashed it. And just for the record, I, I, I double checked with the instructions that I was right. But yeah, it's quite easy to put together, really. So good job Lydia's mum brought that with her because um, I've installed it already. It's all safe and secure. Green light, green light, green light, which means it's good to go. Now, Tom's initial feedback is I've got an entire instruction manual to read and learn about how to adjust all the straps and stuff like that, which I'm going to do. It's absolutely fine. But I will say it's a bit tight to try and get it out. The clip to lift it out is here behind the back of it. And it's obviously right up against the chair. So obviously you can move the chair forward, but it's not exactly like, oh man, I'm ghetto cruising, lean back as far as I can in this, in this car. Um, but yeah, you've got to kind of like maneuver around it to then pull this lever up and then it comes out and then you can take out your child like so. Ta -da! There's ways around that by getting a Isofix seat that like allows you to spin the baby chair. And I think we've either got one of them, but it's not for this specific car seat or something like that. But I think that's the better shout. Being able to spin it and lift it out easier. Oh yeah. But there we go. I'm bringing the baby in. Oh right, mate. Wah! Wah! Oh, the rabbit's out. Oh, gosh. Oh, the rabbit eats the uh, the baby chair. We're going to have a problem. Oh, my God. Yes. This is why we, we love Lydia's mother even more. Are they square scones? What? <laughs> oh, hello. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, square scones. Let's go. But she's brought a chicken, a baguette, and salad. Yes. Feeding time at the zoo. Did you just get really busy yesterday? Because I've noticed the swimming pool has gone. <laughs> What? I'm going to put that down to the garden around it. But if I'm wrong, someone's nicked my swimming pool. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, lunch is now done. And I'm going downstairs to get my tripod because we're doing a child's safety course upstairs. It's a little bit mad. <laughs> and I'm going to show you. That the lounge has been invaded by baby mannequins. What? You okay? I'm gonna give it a go, yeah. Wish me luck. Listen in 10 seconds, you need to hear it five times. Three to five. Three to five times. Three to five, yeah, perfect. And then what's the circulation? So then if they're breathing, then you're gonna put them in the recovery position. Just like that. Now you need to do put it in the recovery position. Oh, the our recovery position is. Like, I better, I better. Oh, that no, you need to hold the head. There's fat on that. Yeah. Put it forward so it can sit out. Because you really do feel quite low. Yeah, you do. How long would you hold them like that for? Until the ambulance gets there. Oh, really? Okay, but then now that, imagine they're not They're not breathing. breathing. Now you need to go CPR. Okay. So I've got the, the head, like, straight, yeah. Put this on. Here you go. Like as if you're blown out a canker. Yeah, yeah, that's and it. And then it's... Straight arm. So it would be in between, in between the nipples. <laughs> That's it. And then you go back in for two That's breasts then. Absolutely, yeah. So she doesn't do anything. That's it. And another thing. And then and just then, keep going. And then you just constantly repeat. Jimmy, yeah. So that's oh, practicing yeah. on the baby. And then this is practice on a child. Whoosh, he's alive. Honestly, so good to learn all this. So two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. So you got to smack the back. The thing is in it, is it? Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. Three, four, five, nothing. And then the cheese. Thumb in, under there. And the squashy bit, that's yeah. it. And, and then, there we go. Oh, it came out. I didn't even see it. Yeah, first I saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Well, this was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah. Honestly, I feel so much more confident yeah. about being a dad now. In case uh, anything goes wrong, like I've wanted to do this since I found out we were having a baby. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth every single penny. And I didn't even know this because I thought we just like hired some woman to come do it. It's apparently part of a franchise from something that was on Dragon's Den. It's called Mini First Aid, and you can organise them to come to your house. And we did it. And we had six people who could come, and it was amazing. Honestly, highly recommended. I have no idea where my last vlog clip was, but I'm coming in. With a, I was going to say a sleeping bag then, but definitely the wrong oh, thing. With a bean bag. Hello, you big Irish feck. No. I've walked in and you look sad. Are you sad? Have Ireland lost? No. What was the score? 
Oh, shit, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, no, I walked in with such good energy. You're wearing your shirt and everything. No! Oh, mate, even your cat looks sad. Look, the cat's upset. Oh, Aiden. Oh, brother, you would look disappointed. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. Listen, if I was support team, it would be Ireland, all right? Thank you. Thank Just you. to let you know. Okay. Don't do football. No, but if I've got a team in the world, I'd pick, no, I'd pick England first, but when they're out, then... <laughs> I'll get you supporting Ireland. Give me a jersey! Give me a jersey. Mine's a bit... Give my baby a jersey and your baby a jersey. No, I'll get that. Yes! <laughs> but guess what time it is? Fighting time! Oh, we got the fire roaring. Eamon, you're a legend. And Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis is about to go down. I'm calling it now. Logan's winning this. I, he just, he has to, unless Dylan pulls some bullshit, but I just, I can't see him doing it. I reckon Logan's got it. I just do. Wait, what? Logan Paul's coming out first? What? Andy has got a black eye. Yeah, he threw the microphone at him. And when he walked in on the camera, you couldn't see it. He'd actually put makeup on to hide it. What? And is he actually going to turn up? Is he actually here? Oh, he did. He turned up to the fight. What a fuck? Oh, my gosh. No way. I, I don't know why. I, st I still think Logan's got this. Let's get ready to rumble. He went, I forgive you. Touch gloves. No. <laughs> oh, he said he could do that. In an interview, he went, I can put my elbow out like that, right, to defend myself. With Tommy Fury, he went, I can do, I can do this, right? I can protect myself. Like and then Tommy Fury was going, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, of course you can. Oh, no. Harvey <laughs> wants Dylan to win. <laughs> oh. Oh, scrappy. Yeah, yeah, badged him. Ooh. <laughs> Round one, done. The thing is, this could really backfire for Dylan if if he's all he's doing is not boxing and just defending himself. Like, he's not doing anything. He's, he's throwing, like, three punches. This is how it's going to go. Logan will win this easy. They're big punches. Whoa, they're big punches. Ooh. Is the, is, is the game plan gonna win? End of round two. Oh yeah, 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 look, he's trying to put, he's trying to get him in a headlock. Not happening. Have we seen everything we were gonna see out of this fight now? Is this it? Wow, the crowd is dead silent. That's how boring this is right now. End of the third round. Shit. On to the next one. Oh, here we go. Okay. Dylan's coming out. Okay, okay. Oh. Dylan swinging. Oh, you gotta love the boxing crowd when no boxes and punches are being thrown. They boo. Dylan's gotta do something, man. This is boring. This is just boring. No, 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 no. Let go. Try to put him in a headlock. <sighs> and we go into the fifth. There's only six minutes left for Dylan Dennis to do anything. <laughs> Does Dylan Dennis really have this much energy to go all this way and then turn it round? If he does, man, well played. The game plan worked. It, it worked. But I, <laughs> I, I just not seen it yet. Ooh. Did he miss that? Yeah, he missed. If that would have landed, that would have been uh, saucy. Going into round six. All Logan needs to do is just carry on the way he has done and he's won. And it's like, sure. The refs are saying he's only landed nine punches. Dylan Dennis needs to put him in a chokehold or something. For this to be it. Dylan has to have like an inside bet on himself. Like 20 million to lose or something. Go like six rounds because he ain't winning shit right now. Oh no. This has backfired so bad for Dylan Dennis. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> Lydia just said he doesn't have a point to deduct. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, 15 <laughs> seconds left in the fight. 15 seconds left. This is it. What is he doing? He knows better. He knows better than that. Yes! Yes! All out brawl. Let's go. All out brawl. Oh, my God. There's so many security guards. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. What the fuck? There's, there's more security guards in the ring than people I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit, there's like a hundred! Oh my god, there's so many security guards in that ring! What a shock, Logan Paul won. Dylan Dennis made an absolute dildo of himself. That was embarrassing. It, it couldn't even get him in a chokehold. It could di literally dildo Dennis. That was the most embarrassing thing I have ever watched. Desperation and then some, and he still managed to fuck it up. <laughs> Unbelievable! Yo, Logan deserves that. that 
Dylan's an idiot. Oh, he said, he went, he went, I finally won something. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, shit. Here we go. KSI versus Tommy Fury. And I'm saying this right now. JJ does not have to win this. If he wins, if he wins this fight, he has got the ego of Jake for the rest of his life. He never has to even think about Jake Paul. He doesn't have to fight him. He doesn't have to even blink at him. Nothing ever again. However, if he loses this tonight to Tommy Fury, he has to fight Jake. And that is just the top and bottom of it. You could say he doesn't, but he does just to settle it. Because otherwise, right now, they're equal. But if... If JJ wins, he's above Jake. If he doesn't, they have to fight to sell it. That's what I'm calling. And as to what's going on on screen right now, I have no idea. There's zombie dancers and all sorts. And he's walking out to Thriller. Brilliant. The only thing KSI needs to worry about is um, Tommy Fury's dad trying to bum him. Three times in three different occasions, J is it John Fury has yeah, yeah. <laughs> threatened to bum KSI on live television. It's like... Are you sure about that? And here we go. Come on, the boy. The nightmare. I so hope he wins it. I genuinely do. I want him to. I want him to have that leverage. I want him to have that leverage over Jake forever. He's driving in a Lamborghini. No, he's not walking out to Lamborghini. <laughs> There's no way he's coming out to Lamborghini. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hey, don't you dare boo the British national anthem, all right? Respect it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. What are we about to witness? Jake J doesn't look as confident as I thought he would. Whoa! That was a that was a heavy right hand. Oh, if he lands that fucker duck. What? That was a clear. That was. I wouldn't even bullshit that. He fully punched him on the back of the head. This is the thing. Everyone says they don't know how to fight JJ because he's he's not he's not boxer. He's yeah, no, that's the thing though. But you're not allowed to do it. So he's, he's hoping he makes that decision. He's, he's hoping he makes that bad decision. End of round one. Damn. Would kind of give it to JJ, but at the same time, like from a boxing perspective, I don't know. JJ just fights crazy different, so I don't even know. Ooh, JJ's getting hit a bunch. Yeah, when's he going to take away a point? It's the third time he's punched him on the back of the head. Yeah, he has to. Oh, he is! He's actually deducted a point though. No, this could, that could be it. If this goes the distance now, that could be it. Oh, <gasps> that was a great, oh my God, JJ. JJ, JJ, go on JJ. Oh my God, that was phenomenal. Oh my God, is he getting into his head? He's lost the point. Crowd gets behind JJ, holy shit. Jake Paul's trembling in his boots. <laughs> Wait, what? They stopped the clock for the point deduction. There was 16 seconds left on the round. What? Uh, end of the second round. Mate, my heart is racing. <gasps> oh, that was, a, that was a good right hand from Tommy. That was a good right hand. Back of the head again. He literally just hit him on the back of the head again. Not cuddling going on. End of the third. Why is he going to be a headlock? You're a fucking professional boxer. <sighs> you know what? I feel like just off this now, after how good of a first two rounds. What the fuck? The doctor point. The fuck was that? The fucking professional boxer just decided to throw like four punches after the bell. Fuck that. What a bitch. All right, on to round five. This is me. I don't even know how to feel. I don't want to call this, but if this ends up being a draw, mother of God. Honestly, I'm, I'm perplexed the fact that he didn't, he doesn't just keep his distance from him. The fact that one of the commentators said this is unwatchable because all they're doing is clenching is insane. Come on, JJ, just fucking do it. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do it. Do the thing. Probably leaning a bit more to JJ's for the first two rounds. But it's... I don't know, it's anyone's game. I reckon it's going to be a draw. All right, end of the fifth. Sure, this is what JJ's trained for. Six minutes of just madness. Come on, JJ. Bring it home, man. Bring it home. Bring it home and make Jake Paul cry. <laughs> Whoa, he just fucking called it again. He's a professional fucking boxer. How can he not follow these simple fucking rules? Ref says break it and he's just throwing punches. KSI doesn't have anything to lose. If he loses this, he wins the fight against Jake because he has to do it. 10 seconds left. Is this real? Is JJ about to win this on points? Is he about to win this on points? There's no way. I do not think 
there can be a unanimous winner, right? I feel like this is go this this got this has got to go draw. I think it was three three. Give the point deduction, so it could go to KSI because of the point. No way. If this if JJ pulls off the win because of a point deduction, <laughs> no freaking way. By the way, I will say I think he performed as a better boxer than Tommy Fury. Every time the ref went, stay away from each other. Tommy kept punching. JJ was like, I'm out. Stop punching him on the back of the head. Punch him on the back of the head three times. After he got the point deducted, he punched him on the back of the head again. Bro, what the fuck? And after the four punches after the bell or whatever it was, and he's the professional fighter. Man, fuck this shit about people being professional fighters and stuff. You're in a boxing ring, you're boxing. There's rules, there's rules. What are you saying? Is one. KSI. Jenny? I think KSI. Lid? Lydia's like, I'm going into labour. Uh, guys, we need to go. <laughs> KSI is about to retire from boxing if he wins this. If he wins this fight, he has one up on Jake Paul forever and he can retire and that's it. Um, I am so sorry, but in whatever world I've ever just seen any fight in my life, that was the biggest robbery in in, in influencer boxing I've ever seen. That, mate, mate, yeah, fuck that. Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? I've never heard such shit in my life. There's no... There's no way. There's no way. Bro, you've seen the fights tonight and all the decisions that have been made. How? How is that a draw? And then that, and, he, and deducted a point. Are you taking the fucking Michael Jackson? This, this needs overturning immediately. Uh, bro, I'll take a draw at best. No fucking way. Chris Eubank Jr. just said he thought JJ would it. The Fury name. Fact, yeah, it's an absolute mockery of the sport if JJ won this. Absolute robbed, robbed. It is disgusting. My friend lost tonight. We lost tonight. Your team lost okay. tonight. Come in. You know, we're a pair of losers. Sorry. Just, just so losers, man. We just we lose. It is what it is. Tomorrow we'll wake up and just forget about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it is. You know, and so I go to social media and then it okay. pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. So there, brother. The only winner here is the cat. Goodbye, Finn. You've been a good cat. Do you know how cold it is? Oh, actually, that, you know and, that? Lydia, this is how you know it's cold. Oh my gosh. Ice on the top of the car. That is the first one of the winter. Oh my gosh. Let's hope Jellyman doesn't pop out now. <laughs> They're like, yeah, can you fill the pool? I'm like, no, my fucking pipes are frozen. I can't do anything. Hey, oh, it's Sunday. And we are getting up, starting this day very randomly. Woke up after the whole boxing fight stuff last night. All I'm going to say is the good thing that came out of the whole boxing thing is that it wasn't in America, and I didn't stay up till 5 a.m. to watch that. Because if I would have stayed up till 5 a.m. to watch that, I would have been fuming. But anyway, we're up, we're awake, and there is no Lydia in the house. And that's because she's gone out as she woke up today craving some particular food of some sorts, whilst I was still up sleeping in bed. But I finally awoken from my slumber, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go and surprise her and turn up where she's gone for food, and then see if she wants to go to TK Maxx and go on the hunt for smelly candles. I know, absolutely riveting content, but I really don't think she's going to expect me to turn up and then be like, do you want to go and find some candles? Because she loves that kind of stuff. Oh boy, is it a bloody nice day. Like, oh my gosh, look at that view. Looks like a Windows wallpaper. Anyway, we're off to a place called Denton Crown Point North. Well, hello there, Mr. Wonka. All right, let's see if I can steal some chips off a plate. <laughs> No, oh, this is the reason why I've come some good food. Chicken, chips, and cheese. And peppers. And peppers. It's like nachos all over it's again. So and Lydia's obviously That's eating ice cream. That's the natural cheese I wanted to make. Natural cheese. Look at that. Ooh, is it any nice. good though? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Very nice. However, it was spicy and uh, my head is sweating. Sweet diner. Always a good shout. Highly recommend it. It's candle sniffing time. See you there, bye now. We've arrived at TK Maxx and oh, look who's by the side of me. <laughs> hey, you didn't realize I was ghetto. It's how we roll, bro. It's how we roll. This is how we roll. You will come to my ends. I'll wrap you. So moving on from the shootout, we have made it to the shelves of glory. No, stay away. from. We don't need green. Go that way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Yeah, this is more our colors. Beiges. Yeah. There are so many candles. 
it's insane. This might be a bit of us, rustic farmhouse. Lydia spotted a belter. Oh, what's this one? Oh, it's an iced caramel macchiato for Katie. Oh, very on theme. Oh wait, Sand and Paws pumpkin citrus. Oh, it's like a pumpkin spice latte on steroids. Pass. This might be a bit of us. Jasmine bamboo. I dropped it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Want to smell it? <laughs> Go for a sniff. It's okay. It's clean. Oh. Ugh. Too clean. This is what I imagine talcum powders to smell like. No thanks. Oh, I've not sniffed a Yankee candle in forever. These used to be my favourite. Tropical star fruit. Oh, sweet. <laughs> You've got a question how they come up with these smell names. This is winter white. It smells like Christmas, not gonna lie. But then, desert rain? It smells like nothing. Well, I guess rain doesn't smell. Right? Out of all the candles, I came for an autumn vibe one and I'm leaving with a Christmas one. That is nice. Firewood and silver fir. Oh, it smells like a forest. 9,000 sniffs later, we have a basket full. And I have to be honest, I can't. I can't smell anything else but my nasal passage just feels like it's about to explode. You know what? Amid all this, I've found an absolute belter. 15 quid for this thing. Don't mind if I do. I immediately want to say no, but it is very fitting. Oh no. Balsam and fur. How many is there? It'd be eight then. Eight. I think that's a yes. Richard's mold. I think we've reached max capacity of the basket, therefore we should leave. Ten hours later. Get that smile off that face. <laughs> we went in for candles. How do we leave with Christmas decorations? Biggie, I don't believe it. But as they say in the biz, it is what it is. Now I'm back in the man cave enjoying my new setup and playing obviously a bit of old school RuneScape. But it is indeed five o'clock and that means it's feeding time. So, goodbye RuneScape, and hello Mama Nino's house. Because it's time for a Sunday dinner. Mm. yoo Family! We're here! Wagwan! Piftings. Ah. Can't do it with that hand. Have you had the baby yet? Here, here he is! Jellyman's arrived! Da, 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 da. I was sleeping! Da, 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 da. I was sleeping! Could you imagine if you just walked in with a baby? That would be wild. Mum, Nino, oh my gosh, look at that. And oh my gosh, look at that. That view is absolutely beautiful. But not as beautiful as the potential upcoming Christmas design. Okay, family, we're gonna have a collective vote. Which one do we think is the best Christmas jumper and that we should release this Christmas? I'm gonna pass around the phone, pick a number and decide. I'm gonna put it on screen now with obviously the numbers next to it. And I want you guys to leave a comment as to which one of these we should go with as the first ever knitted, right? It's a proper, it's a proper Christmas sweater, Christmas sweater for Syndicate Original. We've always wanted to do it. So if you want to like help decide which one we should pick, leave a number down below. It's still on screen there. Wow, look at that. As to which one you think is your favorite and we should launch with. Oh, they're all going through the ringers deciding. Oh, even I've got a proper look at it and decide because th this is decision time today. Yeah. All right, my time to decide. We're either going from one through to nine. Mm, this is difficult. Right, I think I've decided. All right, Lydia, which one are you decided on? We'll pop it up on screen here with which one you want. Six. <gasps> Number six. Ooh. Number nine. Number nine. Ooh. Despite despising Christmas, I like number nine. Oh, number nine! Number nine! Number nine! Oh! Then she added number nine, which so is a me, blue me, Can I just say something? Me being me, Sam Jones didn't just send us one option, he sent us nine. <laughs> eight, eight options. Go on, Sam Jones! I looked at them and said, well, can you just tweak this and make. They're all great, but I want it to look like this, and then he made number nine. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm torn between. I'm torn between. If we put it on the screen, eight and nine. Well, based on the fact that you've got three other votes in the room for nine, I think it's probably. Yeah, what about Karen? Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, but eight's got eight's got way <laughs> more red on it. Yeah, but I think that's why I like it because originally you wanted a blue one. Yeah. I just oh. think. I just, I let's see what Mum says. Mum, I came to ask you what. What, what have you John? just hit? What did you smack your head off? Mum, I've wiped the table. And then a bend. Bloody hell, Karen, we just wanted a number between one and nine. He's going to have forgotten a number. Bloody 
Yeah. You, you look like you're about to faint. I spied it on the cat tower. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, quick, before you pass out, Mum, which number? I like number one. I'll piss it out. <laughs> no one picked that one, but... Okay. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to leave some comments down below because this is a really tough decision. Look at this. Look, look at how intense we are about this. But if we have to put it to a collective vote, it turns out the family has decided number nine is the winner from our choice. But what do you guys think? So just as a behind the scenes, shout out to Nino because he actually came up with the Christmas is too short, make the most of it. I like nine, but I think there's too much blue. Whereas number eight is just... I feel like number eight is perfect. Right, non-biased, all right? I know that on average, there's about six, there's about, on average, there's about 600 people to 1,000 people who comment on these videos. <gasps> and I want 10,000 comments oh, voting. Right well. What number? Yeah. Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would wake up for a nap and just point. Wait, point at which one? Which one? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it turns out he's booed. Oh, I was just about to say, the next time we could all be together, you could have a new friend. He will have a new friend. He won't be the baby anymore. You, you'll, be, you'll be the big Please baby. Did you just spit? <laughs> big Please baby. Get away from me. You're not going to be the little baby. Yeah, if, if we've somehow got the, kit, the clip of him being like, you're going to be the little baby. A big baby. Put it on the screen now. <laughs> big Please baby. Please. Nope. I've got it all to come, so I'm, I'm holding off till then. Enjoy your cleansing activity, my friend. Goodbye. Because my little one's in here. Let me see him. I know, I get all the angles, don't I? <laughs> oh, look at this from the christening. But look at that one. Come on. You know what? How is he not like a model for being a baby? He's so cute. I am so confused right now because I've just come into the hallway to make a phone call. And is it just me? Or... Is that plane trail black? I don't know whether it's to, like the light where the sun's hitting it, but is that just me or does that look like black smoke? That does not look healthy in the slightest. What on earth? I've never seen that in my life. Yeah, if it's white, sure, but why is it black smoke? What the heck? This has got to be something to do with the, the way the sun's going because all the lines in the air look like this. Either that or we're getting missile strikes right now. I am so... So confused. Sound the alarms! Oh, that was a transition from the baby. Thanks, mate. Look at this. Dinner is served. Hey, the baby is enjoying the great. I'm having a good time. Having a good time. What's wrong with you, my friend? Do you have food, yes? Would you like some bacon? Yes, feed the child. <laughs> I'm going to be such a good dad. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> no. Is he smiling? Oh, that's why I'm the fun uncle. Nino Grigio, thank you very much for host, being the hostess with the most S. Mum, thank you very much. Get that meat on distribution techniques going right now. And alo has got a different ch ch table thing. Yes. Great success. Before we go, Jellyman's supposed to be here in nine days. What do you think? When's, when's he popping 17 out? 17 days. 29. Oh. Oh, so you're only thinking a few days over? Yeah, a few days over. Do you think 19 days away? 70. 70 days. Whoa! Four All days. right. Four days. Till next time. Woohoo! God, it is getting cold again. Get me in that car and get me home. Woo! What a lovely Sunday dinner. Oh, what a lovely pregnant lady. Are you okay there? You've got eight days until Jellyman is arriving. How do you feel? Meant to arrive. Meant to arrive. I really thought that they were going to come early and now I think that they're going to come late. I do as well. <laughs> I was so convinced that Jellyman, no joke, was going to pop out on the 10th. And then I was like, no, Friday the 13th. That That's, that's a, a, an interesting one. That's going to be the play. But now I'm like, with how my dad's saying, oh no, late. My mum's saying four days earlier but everyone else is no, like late, 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 late. Yeah. And going off experience, the fact that these people are all saying, oh, gonna be late, just looking at her, I can tell they're gonna be late. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just gonna be a case where we go like four weeks over. Go four weeks in, the, in the vlog, I'm gonna be going from a countdown going like eight days to go to being like eight days over. And be like, how high is this count gonna go until the baby arrives? But oh my gosh. We are getting so closer to the danger zone, but I'm so damn excited. But it is now me outroing this video on a Monday and it's time to get so much stuff done. Like if you guys are following along with a vlog or anything like that, this is a big week for the house. 
bald cousin working on this setup in here. We've got a paint decorator sorting it as well because it's a different type of painting. So we've not got we've not got a donor, but we've got someone else coming to sort taking care of that. All the sofas have got to go. The sofas in there have got to go, and the new sofas that we've ordered are indeed arriving. So it's all systems go go Ready go vlog. go go. Ready Look at her, she's a little giddy kipper, but I need to end this video now. I hope you have enjoyed it. Hopefully it came together as a good weekend vlog, which again, it's not supposed to be. I'm not supposed to film these days. I'm supposed to switch off, enjoy my weekend, and you guys are supposed to boop off. But guess what? I like taking you along with the journey and sharing my life. So if you did enjoy it, leave a like, rate, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite point was, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next weekday vlog. So until then, much love and adios.